Yo, 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 what's up, players? Let me holler at you for a second. If you want to keep your stacks fat, my boys over at Team.com save you money on your cell bill and putting that cash back in your pocket. So if your cell phone company doing you straight dirty and your mama ain't got no ends to lend you, head over to thugnotes.team.com and get $25 off your initial sign up. So show some love, bruh. It's righteous cats like Team that keep a brother off the streets and in the library. You heard? What up, what up? This week on Thug Notes is getting hella hot with Dante's Inferno. Dante must have blacked out or something cause this fool lost in the woods and don't even know how he got there. He keeps trucking along till three gnarly beasties start mad dogging him. Shit's about to get real till the poet Virgil saves his ass and tell him he been sent by his old bitty Beatrice who bopping up in heaven. Dante starts tripping when he hears the screams of the uncommitted peeps who didn't do shit with their lives. But his guy Virgil tells them to stop being a bitch and start their journey through the nine circles of hell. After getting straight clocked out, Dante wakes up in limbo, the first circle. Now this hood filled with all those righteous souls who lived before Christianity or never got themselves baptized. The second circle be full of lustful peeps who just couldn't keep it in their pants. Up in here, Minus sorts all them sinners into the right circles. Up in the third circle be all the gluttons. Whether it be sipping too much drink, blowing too much dank, or grubbing too hard, all these fools getting served by Cerberus. The fourth circle packed with all them greedy shysters who don't do nothing but chase paper. And the fifth got all the wrathful souls scrapping on the surface of the Styx River. Then our hero rolls up to the city of Dis. Behind these walls lie homies who done really f***ed up. In the sixth circle, Dante peeps all the heretics get lit up in red hot sepulchers. The seventh circle spilling over with homies who've been violent towards others, themselves, and God. Then Dante and Virgil hop on a monster called Girion, who takes him to Malabulge, the eighth circle. This crib sporting all them fakers who've been fronted with magic, astrology, and other sh Then our boys swing over to the ice cold night circle of hell, where Satan himself be torturing all them snitch traders of history. Virgil and Dante decide they're gonna peace out and slide down the beast's body to purgatory. This poem be the first part of Dante's three-part divine comedy, but it ain't called a comedy because Dante got jokes. You see me laughing? Most scholarly hoods point out that literary comedy starts out with some real twisted shit, but ends up all good in the hood. And Dante's whole shebang starts off in hell and ends in paradise. Listen up, blood, cause Dante laying all sorts of allegory on your bitch ass. On one level, the inferno representing all the temptation mankind got a rough through in order to find salvation. Dante trying to find God thinking it ain't no thing. But the true path blocked by three slobbering beasts and them haters symbolize all the sin Dante gotta overcome before he can smoke and sip with the big G. But that ain't the only allegory Dante pimping. Not only is he talking spiritual, but he also talking political. See, in 1302, Dante got straight exiled out of Florence during a coup. And as a result, Fool was just sliding aimlessly from spot to spot for the rest of his days. So the dark wood that Dante gets lost in not only represents his spirit search for God, but also his wandering days after getting exiled. But of all historical poets, why did Dante choose Virgil to guide him through the underworld? Well, back in the day, Virgil wrote about how Troy's fall led to the establishment of Rome. And just as the beginning of the Trojan's journey to Rome was a raw grind, Dante had to man the f up and roll through hell and purgatory before getting to heaven. Hey, thanks for kicking it with your boy. Don't stop reading and check me out next week. Peace. <laughs>